Good evening, friendos. It's time for a quest for semi-glory. More unsighted tonight. We're to the end game, I think. At least we're right outside Crater... Oh, no. We're right inside Crater Tower, right? Or right outside, I guess, right? Um, since that was our last save point, uh, we've got little, we've got the cat with us. We've got an extreme amount of uh, of stuff to our name. Lots of health, lots of attack damage. We got plus forty percent to swords, plus another fifty percent on a jump attack. And I don't remember if we put on the um, the extra damage after parry either. Uh, if we were able to put that one on there, that would have been great. Uh, it is on there, <laughs> so uh, even more damage after a perfect parry, so, uh, we'd be dealing out the hurt. We'd be dealing out the hurt. Um, okay, so let's see. Where are we at? Where are we at? We're in a tower. We figured this was gonna be a dungeon unto itself. So let's see what we got. Uh, did we read all this already? Yeah, yeah, they're talking about it. Automaton's going rogue and all that shit. Um, which, you know, looks like they, looks like they kinda did. Looks a little messy in here. Um, so let's, let's go. Let's go, I guess. Let's get up on in there. See what we got to face down in this uh, B1. Okay, so we don't have an actual. Oh, it's not depleting anymore. Oh, really? Cool. The meteor is so close to it now. Cool. All right. Well, I mean, we're not on time limit the way it is, so it doesn't matter. Um, okay, it looks like those uh, elevators were going to the same spot, anyways. That's good. Well, let's have a look around. Let's see if uh, there's any trash mobs to fight before we get to the good stuff, right? One year since I started working on how anima affects carbon-based life forms, what I learned is it works as a multi-level energy supply. If experiment tissue samples seems to keep cells alive for some time. Safe method of applying anima to living beings. I'll ask for authorization to start testing on the rats we still have. Uh-oh. We're gonna be fighting some mutated ass rats because they've been exposed to anima for too long. That's gonna be my guess. Like surely, surely there will be some hubris going on here that we're gonna have to face down. Oh, hey, look at this. Alright. Oh, well, took a, took a bop there. <laughs> Not like it matters, really. Ow. Ow. Alright. Ow, fucking hit me right after I fucking healed, of course. Ow, hey, stop it! Shit bang. <laughs> Alright, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine. We're gonna heal again because we lost like five health there. Yeah, here. Get some food. Get some food. Got plenty of food, I think, right? Yeah. Um. Yeah. It's, it's happy. It's happy now. Good. I mean, he did just do a a fair amount of work for us in that battle, so okay, feeding him, right? Let's see what else we got going on here. More death and grossness here, huh? 122, experiment on subject 28 has failed after being given an edible form of animal and stayed alive for about a week as if nothing had changed, but then, just like the other rats, started flailing against the glass of the cage plus started melting. Ugh. Changed to a dark color before finally dying. Can't keep working on rats, not getting anywhere. Finally, it'll work for our benefit soon. Yeah, like if shit doesn't go right after a week, yeah, you shut down the whole operation, right? It fucking makes sense. Oof, yeah. Well, something really went bad down here. Oh, oh. There we go. Bonk. 1328s. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. Doing some good work. Uh, did we actually get a, 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 web, a power boost for that? I guess we did, because I think we were at plus 33 before. Now we're at plus 34. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. We must go deeper. Oh, there's still some rats that are alive down here, so they didn't... They weren't able to experiment on them all, apparently. Probably for the best, honestly, for them. And it's finally authorized me to trust new versions of the anima injection on human subjects. Oh, good lord. Yeah, human trials. This will go well. Subjects will be only prisoners, mostly rebel scientists. Oh boy. Either get what's coming to them or become heroes helping humanity. Oh, I've heard that before. Oof. That's not gonna end very well, is it? I was going crazy. Started experimenting in humans will not help fuel this man. So he's only seen an anthropomorphic. That's not a robot. 
Well, he applied the serum on his dog, and the thing became a raging black mass of destruction, and we had to throw outside. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's some rough shit right there. Uh, okay, there's a door there, and it's locked, right? Okay, we don't have a key. Don't have a key just yet. Nowhere else to go but over here, so let's go. That door's locked. This is a big old fight room, yep. Nice. Man, ooh, that cat is doing some work. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, well, okay. Just to uh, eat that one on my own. Good job. Okay. Well, there's no shortage of big old fight arenas here. That's good, considering we've got to re recharge the two Healy syringes we've already wasted. Creepier. I mean, they were already kind of creepy, right? With uh, all the blood and guts and shit. This is going to be a fight arena down here, I bet. So we may as well not check that out just yet. Maybe we catch her rogue Tauntaun. She calls herself Raquel. She's very dangerous. Uh-oh. Oh, no. What happened What happened to our bae Raquel here? Should not execute yet. She might be useful for some experience. I think she's a risky move. I don't trust this one. Well, duh. Fucking... Ugh. That's not good. <laughs> Oh, that is gonna piss Alma off something fierce. Bonk. Yeah, 14 hundo for that stuff. Alright, kill it right there so we get a good thing going. Okay. Looks like this is gonna be endgamey enough that we're not probably gonna find anything else value down here, probably. You know, Subject 55 test is success. Finally done. A stable serum that can apply to all of us. No one will have to eat what remains from the ones who are gone anymore. We'll live forever. We'll conquer the universe. Human history will never die. Oh, boy. There's the hubris. I knew there was going to be hubris. There we go. I'll pull up again. Ah, it's a big old fight arena again, isn't it? Yeah. There we go. Easy peasy. Oh, more. Oh, fuck. Ow. Oof. Okay. Small amount of bops there. That's all right. So 133. Chief Doctor said the serum was complete. People lined up to receive the cure. It would take us to the next human step of evolution. All fooled. After a week, they became aggressive, asking me more. And after that, mutations began. Some humans merged with others. Ooh, gross. All right, they crave animal. Their minds are plagued by energy consumed to down. I have to get out of here. <laughs> good luck. Looks like you didn't make it, but, uh, you know, good on you for trying. Oof. So, these big ol' shadow creature things are probably corrupted humans, huh? So have we been doing a murder this entire time? <laughs> or maybe they're not considered human anymore and it's not really murder. Like, I could probably be down with that. What do we got here? A cog. Stamina cog. Okay. But we don't really need it because we're, we're all full. We're all full. What do we, actually, what do we have for cogs? What's active? Oh, we didn't even turn on the revive cog. Okay. Also got a syringe cog that auto fills for five seconds. And, oh, right, that attack cog we never used. Okay, well maybe we save that for the big bad at the end of this. Be a good idea, wouldn't it? It's like 
the elixirs in any other RPG-ish game, right? You save them for the end, then you don't use them. <laughs> Bonk. Oh, that's right. Iris is fighting with us, too. I mean, she's doing like three or four damage at a time, so it's not much. Oh, damn! Except, looks like they, uh... My buddies took care of that big-ass robot somehow. <laughs> I'm not quite sure how they managed to do that between the two of them, but I'm pretty sure I didn't touch them at all. They got that going for them, I guess. Oof, oh, look at this big old prison cell. Uh-oh. Ah, it's Raquel, though, huh? Here, since I've been captured, I can't stand this anymore. They're experimenting with me. I don't know how things are outside. I wish I could see Elmo one last time. Duh. Well... I hope we get to see her too, but probably we're probably not going to see her in the form that we think. How's Diary Entry 12? There's something going on within the humans. Experiments with Anima seem to have failed. I don't know what. Something is happening up there. Guards are fucking freaked out. I have a chance to escape. Maybe I can end this once and for all. If Anima is indeed killing them, then I know what I have to do. To destroy the meteor, perhaps? Is that what this is all about? We really don't have much of a choice, do we? Probably. Boy, howdy. Just keep going in this big ass tower. Ah. Uh, here we are. Here we are, here we are. This looks like probably the final terminal before uh, we do this fight. Oh, shit, look at that. Oof. Well, this is. Foreboding. Uh oh. Is that Raquel up there? Oh damn. That is Raquel. Uh um Raquel, are you okay? <laughs> da crap. Oh, this isn't gonna end well. Oh, this is really isn't gonna end well. Ah, crap. We're gonna be fighting Raquel or whatever she turns into, I think. Oh, yeah. Oh, you, this isn't good. This isn't great. Oh, bad things happening. Pretty sick transformation sequence, though, honestly. Oh, jeez. Uh, alright. Oh, excuse me. Whoa, excuse me again. Alright. Oh, oh, there's a lot going on here. Oh, easy. Oh, easy again. Okay, there you go. Honk. 12 hundo. <laughs> That's a hell of an attack. Oh, I'm pretty sure we shouldn't have been able to do that much damage. <laughs> Oh, so it took essentially two attacks to make that happen. Um, hmm, okay. Jeez. Hmm. <laughs> That's the power of the, just the beefy-ass chips we got equipped, though. Oof, uh, okay. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, fuck. It's fine. Oh, easy. Oh. Honk, honk, honk. Whoop. Ow. Honk. Okay. And I can't heal just yet. I'll have to wait for an interim point. Oh, right. I should be turning on my uh, other assist cogs here. <laughs> You can't tell me that's it, because that was kind of a, a weenie fight. Considering how powered up we are. Wait, why is Iris and the cat with me here? Isn't this usually been a solo thing? 
When we beat a boss, we do this weird kind of climb thing and everything works out. All right. Uh, oh, the revive cog is already active, but I didn't turn on attack or speed. Um, it's another 33% attack boost. Can you imagine? Uh, all right. Now let's turn that on. Uh, we'll leave the speed cog off for now. Uh, all right, we're gonna have a big, big fight up here. Seems that way. All of our buddies are here. Oof. Well, that thing looks a little bit bigger than before. Let's take returning to this world. I'll tell you the most precious gift. Uh oh. It's just the. Yeah, it's just the the the, the meteor or the anima speaking itself here. Those humans are fucking awful. <laughs> Hubris comes through jealousy, envy, and hatred. Hell yeah, hubris! That's what we humans are known for. Weapon, yada yada yada. Okay, well, it probably has us there, honestly. Or we can just break the cycle now, honestly. Fate is our own! No fate! No fate but what we make, right? Whatever it takes to save her. Okay. Alright. Come at me. <laughs> Alright. Hell yeah! Did you, dude, did you see the 1400 damage I was putting out? You're done. You're done. Alright. Now would be the time to, to turn it all on, right? Uh... Let's not turn on the syringe cog just yet, but we'll turn on the speed cog. Two minutes? We won't need two minutes. Honk. 197. Pretty fucking impressive. Oh, easy. Oh, easy. Woo! Oh, oh, jeez. Didn't even see where I was there. 265 just on a normal ass strike seems kind of impressive, huh? Whoop! Oh, all right. Yep. Honk. Oh, excuse me. Oh, that's uh. Shit. Okay, I think I see what's going on. That looked a little bit like Raquel, so we are gonna not attack the the, the ghosty looking motherfucker there. Just attack the uh, carrier here, right? Oh, ouch. Excuse me. Back. Ow. Oof. Oh, ouch. Heal if we can. <laughs> ouch! Oh, easy. There we go. Alright, I don't know if we, uh made the right choice there, but we'll see. Tried to make sure that that ghosty figure was away from it before we destroyed it, but I don't know if that really makes a difference. Honestly, kind of a one-sided fight, although we were very super juiced up, so, uh, not surprised that we laid waste pretty darn quick, right?
<laughs> oh boy, oh no, oh my. <laughs> to run, the whole tower's collapsing. We don't have much time, we need to get away. Yeah, but first, we get Raquel. Hell yeah, well we're gonna escape anyways, we've got five minutes. Oh right, where's our speed, our speed cog is gone again, that's right. We'll be fine. Five minutes to get out of here. That's a lot of time. Although considering it's taking us 20 seconds to get down this big fuck off hallway, uh... Alright, no problem, we just gotta go up four floors or whatever. Wonder if we'll need to do some battles. Whilst we're here, alright. Raquel, hang out there for a second. <laughs> yep. Okay, I'm gonna make us do, like, uh, little tiny battles. Here and again, right? And hey, maybe we can even rely on our, our buddies to help us. There we go, see? Don't need to escape very much. Or we don't need to fight very much. As long as we remember to... ...set Raquel down whilst we're doing a battle, right? Go back and get her. Oh, let me forget her. That would be embarrassing. Try not to set her down under falling debris. <laughs> Alright, see, we're already to B2, no problem. Take care of this a little bit, huh? Yeah, get him, nice. Oh, I see. These were all the side bits that were blocked off on our way down. All right, which way are we go on? Probably the long way around is is the way out, right? I guess it. Well, looks like it didn't matter because it's just gonna lead us down to yeah. Oh, all right, whatever. We'll have, like, a solid two minutes to spare, so it's not like we're gonna be out of time, right? Yeah, that's that timer's exceedingly generous. They could have given us, like, maybe 2... 2.45, and it would have been a lot closer. And a lot more stressful, but... Hey, I'm okay with kind of an easy walkout, considering how much prep we've done to get this far. Now look at that, we saved Raquel on top of everything else, so, bonus. <laughs> how you feeling? Because you look like shit. <laughs> look like death warmed over. No, I mean, you tried, but I don't think you got a single strike on me. Well, maybe once. Maybe one strike, but you're fine. We're fine. Oh, don't worry. The doctor's dead, <laughs> so she can't be pissed at you. <laughs> Aww. Very sweet. What if we run out of anima? Are you kidding me? You see that big ass meteor down there? We were just using the dust before. You imagine if we start hawking up crystals, like, just wholesale? We'll survive forever. Nah, the humans are pretty dead. Like, they're not coming back. <laughs> Bought a lot of time. That's what matters. Yeah, hell yeah. The humans are gone. Aww. Even if the world ends, we'll be together. Hell yeah. Oh, adorable. I can imagine this would be a, a... This would hit a little bit different if we hadn't saved Raquel.
Aw. Aw, cute. In the end, everything was fine. So is that going to be it, huh? Is that going to be credits roll? Oh, uh, no, Iris is still like, Iris, what are you doing? You shouldn't be watching this. This is too much for your young, presumably young eyes. Ugh. Okay, she was way over there when the when the moment happened. That's probably good. <laughs> Iris, who? <laughs> uh, is that my axe? I mean, yeah, I've got your axe, but I didn't use it. I didn't ever equip it. Because we had a baller-ass sword, and I didn't feel like learning a different weapon. Ah. <laughs> uh, boy, that must have been a hell of a walk. Back from the tower. But we made it. Excited to regain their consciousness. Oh yeah, don't don't worry. I murdered like ninety percent of them. Rebuilding the village, cleaning up the library or the museum, whatever. I see. So. If we had played this on normal mode, and and timers had run out on a bunch of these folks, I bet we wouldn't be seeing a good portion of these uh, of these ending cutscenes here. So for the best that we turn those timers off, honestly. Through it all, there were like one or two, maybe three good humans, right? They're doing a bang up job. Those rails looked a little bit, uh, a little bit bent. Somehow they managed it. Ah, uh, did uh, Tobias finish his little hand thing? Yeah, nice. Oh right, we never uh, checked in on and Big What's his nuts there. He said he was making his way back to the village. We never checked up on that. <laughs> Presumably it worked out, because there he was. Other cities? Hmm. I smell a sequel here. Oh, that was a nice ending sequence. <laughs> Since we got the cat with us, <laughs> it's right in the front. That's fucking sick. Love it. So, good ending, presumably. We saved everybody. Saved Raquel. Beat the big bad. That's awesome. That's awesome. Well, good game. I figured we didn't have very much of it left. 
you know, get into the whole meteor tower thing. Uh, there's still a few things we'll go back in for, though. We gotta try that parry challenge out again, right? Now that we are equipped and ready to go with it. Slightly better than we were at the start of this. Yeah, everybody's got protective goggles, except for Raquel, apparently. She's like, nah, nah, I got this. I don't care how particle-filled the air happens to me, because it looks like it's, you know, it's pretty, pretty dusty. I'm screaming through a desert, so there's a lot of sand getting kicked up. That cannot be good for your eyes. 80. I believe the parry challenge, uh, is 80 to get whatever reward there is to it. Although I did look at the uh, Chivo list, and there's a there's a Chivo for getting a Hundo, so we're gonna do our best to to get that too. Wow, well, good job, Studio Pixel Punk! You did it. You made a ding dang darn good old game. Making games is hard, but you did it. Plus, we can check out if there's any other, like, alternate game modes here. I'm, I'm pretty sure there's gonna be a boss rush or something. And we'll see if there's... what the? Enter a name? Uh... Okay. <laughs> sure. We'll enter a name. I don't know what this name is going to be for, but, uh, you know. Yes. We did it! Oh, we got Shivo for visiting every space. Eight and a half hours. 100, 100, whoa, 100.8%. 10 shy on the uh, pickups there for chess. 25 deaths, that, seems, that tracks, I think. That tracks. But we did it. They even have local leaderboards, that's wild. Well, people will be playing through it that often or we'll fill that board up, but hey, whatever. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right, let's see what else we got. New Game Plus, New Game Extra, Robot Apocalypse. I think that's the super hard mode, right? Additional item chest info. Oh, cool, we can go back and find the other stuff. I hope that's what they did anyways. Like, I always like when games do that. Like, hey, you missed these things here. Go find them. Like, give me a give me a gosh dang hint as to where the shit is, right? All right, uh, continue, please. Let's see if that's really what it says. Uh... Oh, info, here we go. Oh, 33. Okay, yeah, it just tells us the general area and where they are. Two in downtown, two in the garden slash caves, two in the... Nope, museum's all clear. Two in the aquarium, two in the factory, one in the sewers, and one in the abandoned lab. Okay. That's cool. All right, well, let's, uh... Hold on a second. This restores us right back to before the fight, yeah? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. All right, let's head on back to the village. We'll try the parry challenge a couple times first. Shouldn't be that tough, right? Like, we're ready. We're ready for it. Um, it's not there, though, is it? No. It is... No, it's the chip shop. Maybe it is down there, actually, because there's Tobias's. Okay, maybe it is this. Yeah, there we go. Um, how many bits of dust do we got? We only got one bit of dust left. Alright, uh, parry challenge, please. I'm sure it'll be fine. Well, that was a good start, good start. Fifteen hundo, my goodness. Seventeen hundo. 19 hundo. <laughs> 21 hundo. 22 hundo. Nice. 
that one's always like immediate first and then wait half a beat on the second one. Ah! <laughs> Some bitch! <laughs> uh, yeah, I want to try again. That was awful. Break. Oops. Oops, didn't mean to knife that one as it was jumping in, but hey, not my fault. Oh, come on, that wasn't fair. Dude uh, distracted me. Ah, <laughs> oh, you little shit. Only 39, though. It's slightly south of half of what we need. Oh, what do we get? We get 1500 bucks for being kind of shitty. You wish to try again? Sure, let's try again. We need to farm the first enemies? That's a good question. I don't know. Let's, let's find out. Let's find out. I have a feeling that as we wait for these dudes to, to get up and whatever, they're just going to keep spawning in more of them. Or maybe not. Like, this would be silly if they just let us farm these little tiny fuckers forever. Yeah, okay, I kind of figured they would start spawning in. Okay, so no. It appears you, you can keep farming them, but then new shit's just gonna spawn in ahead of you. So that might be more trouble than it's worth. Eventually. Well, that would certainly make things spicy if we left them alive, right? in for it. Didn't afraid of no one there. Ah, oh, come on! <sighs> Bitch asses. <laughs> oh wow, we just get uh more and more and more monies, huh? It's just the money generator. Which is good, I guess, because we're gonna need more and more money to buy more meteor dust to, to give to more folks, so, you know, this works out. Have to 
comfort ourselves with our 2200 attack power here. Tried to catch me looking there. Oh, oh, goodness. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> oh, God, oh, oh, the fucking weak ass shooter gets me. You little bitch ass. <laughs> ah, nuts and gum. I was expecting the big one to make the first move, and I think he might have, but I just fucked up the timing, so whatever. Ah. Suppose if things get too spicy, I can just murder them wholesale to clean out the board a little bit, right? Get the parries off of somebody else. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that one, but all right, whatever. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, oh, easy, buddy. It's caught me looking on that one. There we go. Bonk. All right, we'll just get him out the field because I'm getting nervous about that. Shooter again, you bitch ass. Ah, <laughs> uh, fuck. <laughs> hmm. All right, we'll give it another go since that was technically a best. We're halfway there. Halfway there. Oh. Almost didn't parry that first one properly. So 
getting a little nervous about something. Was a little bit more delayed. Ah, you fucker, 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 fuck. So when they start stacking up like that, it gets a little bit difficult to keep straight. Which one's gonna attack first? to shoot that one, but alright. glad the parry isn't directional. I think we'd be eating shit a lot more often here. Jeez, okay, well he caught the back of the blade, I guess. <laughs> Fine, whatever. Oh. There we go. Okay. Delay that one a touch so we can get through there. Fine, fine. Oh, easy. Okay. Serviceable enough. <laughs> That guy just took the took the shot. Oh, easy. Okay. Oh, what? That caught me out of the air. Boo! Oh, 53 is pretty good. We popped a Chivo for it too for some reason. 30 enemy attacks. Stop getting hit. Okay. How much do we get for that? Five Hondo only. Fucking <sighs> son of a son of a bitch. <laughs> Might even be better if we equipped a weaker sword, honestly. Something a bit quicker. Ah, eh, whatever. I'm sure we'll be fine. It's feeling pretty good about that one too. We were we were hitting stride. They're not dunking more advanced enemies in here, too. But whatever. So we should just be thankful for the stuff we get. Ah, 
Oh, boom, bitch. Tried to walk away a little bit so we had some room. Ah. Extremely narrow wi parry window, but it's not the widest window I've ever seen either. Okay. Changed up the order a little bit there. It's a little bit scary. It's alright. Took it back. Jeez. Alright, you need to die now. Ah, oh, no! The little tiny one gets me! Ah, <laughs> oh, you fuckers! <laughs> I figured I would just be able to skate around it and get the get the big boy out, but... No. Mm. The little tiniest fucker. The easiest one in there. Gets me. Alright, we'll give it like one or two more goes and then we'll, we'll sally on to other things here. At least this is a bit more exciting than whatever it was the movement challenge in Hyperlight Drifter. Where he had to dodge like 200 consecutive times or something. That was that was kind of rough. This at least involves a sort of combat, right? themselves in the corner all the time like that. That's awesome. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> fine, whatever. Not gonna deal with that. Whoa, sir. You didn't do any jumping. Neither did that guy. Wow. Alright. Spawned right on top of each other that time. Holes. <laughs> Oh! Oof. Okay. Oh, okay. Nope, not dealing. <laughs> Saw that tiny fuck spawn in there, too. Not dealing with these overlapping shitheads. Oh, what? 
range is that on that second one? Oh, you little bitch. <laughs> All right, one more try, and then we'll call it. We'll go do something else. Oh, what the? Okay. No, 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 no. <laughs> that can't stand is our last try. That's silly. Another one catch it? No. Okay, whatever. Alright, you know what? This little guy needs to get out of there so he's not distracting me. Fuck it. What'd we end up with as a best? Like 50 some? Good enough for now. <laughs> Damn it. 80. Yeah, 53. 53 isn't bad. Not as good as we can do, but it's not bad. Alright. Uh, okay, so what do we got left? Items and shit, right? Oh, and we gotta go check on uh, what's their faces over on the west side here. Assuming they made it back okay. Uh, well, I actually don't know where they were originally. I think they're all the way on this. They were just over here, weren't they? Thought they were. Right over. <coughs> right over beyond this gate. Yeah, right here. Ask about it. Went to the outpost in the industrial sector. I told her to deliver some weapons to the automatons there, you know, the ones we haven't gotten sighted yet. Yeah, I mean, we were at the industrial sector, weren't we? Hmm. I feel like we saw... Well, I mean, I guess we can make our way over, right? We got some exploring to do over there anyways. 
All right, let's go on over to industrial sector. So wasn't he in charge of the chip shop or something? The weapon shop? No? Yeah. Uh, oh, you can even buy additional strength chips so you can really fucking load up. Hmm. Oh, plus there was buried treasure we could start doing too, right? Uh, where was that? Items, right? Yeah, here. We, uh, knew where these things actually existed. Mm, that one's definitely in the museum. Uh, that one looks like it might be near the aquarium. This one might be close by. There's a tree in the middle of the street, crosswalk, terminal. It's right next to a terminal. Hey, look, it might be here, actually. Hey, nice. What do we get? 1500 bucks. Sorry, we did it. We found one. <laughs> We found one. Does it mark it off now, then, for us, or, uh... Yeah, it does. Okay. Oh, and that one's, like, right next to the big flame sword thing. Okay, I think I know where that one is. <clears throat> it's right up here. Oh, uh, I'd like to be able to get through there. Except now it's off to the north. Well, we can fix that real quick, though, can't we? Maybe damaged? Ah, shit. <laughs> well, okay. Hopefully we can get there from here. Oh, right. It may be damaged because we used it to do the boss fight. And it got just totally destroyed. Uh, is there a way we can turn off the heat, I guess? That's my next question. I suppose it was in that heat control room that we just uh, came from, right? thing is it's just off to the north oh beyond there god damn it actually no where is it oh the heat control thing is further to the north damn it how the hell are we supposed to get up there so we're gonna go around and hope that we can find somewhere oh right i don't even need to do this just use the hookshot all the way through a little faster Sword, whatever. Oh, it's actually right in here, isn't it? I thought it was. How did that say then? 
Uh, here. Oh, it's a little bit up above. Okay, right there. There it is. 1500 bucks. Okay, if it's just gonna be money, that doesn't seem to be worth our trouble going around and finding it. It's definitely downtown. That one's in the gardens. That one's underground in the caves. Oh, uh, that one, I don't know where that is. Oh, we also have that other spot we can go check as well. Um, which the nearest? All right, there's an elevator here. Let's find the nearest terminal, because there's that one spot in the crypts that wanted a bunch of clock parts and shit, right? Ah, crap. There's not a terminal up here, either. And I'm kind of curious, like, what kind of clock parts it's looking for, because we've been all around. Ow. Well, all right. All right, don't hook shot the fire. It's a bad idea. one right up to where we want to go. Well, it's sort of close to where we want to go. What is this area considered, actually? Catacombs? It doesn't really tell us. Like, I don't think this is a, an area in this item list here. Eh, eh, well, whatever. Except I don't want to do that, because, uh, I want my sword back. <laughs> I want my big-ass sword, thank you. I think we've already opened up the other paths around here. And we fought the big-ass crab here, right? And I swear it gave us, like, a clock pendulum here or something, right? Although it doesn't show up in our items list, so who knows if we actually have it. Gallery, it's just like, ah, oh, it's got clock parts. What do you want me to do with it, though? Like, they, they picked up a pendulum, why can't I put the pendulum in there? Sure, it doesn't isn't listed in here somewhere. It's, it's a bunch of that. It's a bunch of that. Yeah, ancient clock pendulum. Why can we not use it? I guess we probably need the full set of parts. Who the heck knows where those are? I swear. Oh wait, actually. Go back up there because there was that floaty bit. that, which I think is just meteor dust anyways. Can we... Okay, yeah, we can't... Can't quite do that. It looks like there's a little crotch of an area over here, but can't quite get over that far, can we? Now we're too far south. Alright, I'm going to re-equip the sword because we 
did it before. Yeah, there's no, there's nothing. No path up there. Looks like there might be a path. No, there isn't. Walls and shit. what they're expecting out of me for that now. If anything. But okay, that's apparently a mystery for another time. Unless there's other clock parts just sitting around somewhere. Oh, here we are in the museum. Uh, what was the spot in the museum? Uh, here. Right next to an elevator. Okay. Not right there, though. It's probably... Well, actually, it might be right there, considering. So now we're up in museum proper, right? Oh, I figured it'd be right here, yeah? Okay, it's the museum one. What's the next one we could probably potentially get to? Uh, the garden gate, perhaps? Underground, that's kind of the. Eh. I don't know where that one is necessarily. Uh, it's up near the aquarium. I don't know where that one is. A couple of them are underground. We got that one. <coughs> we got that one. And that's downtown somewhere. So. Alright, well, near a uh, terminal here. Uh, suburbs? No, it's probably closer to the woods side of things. Might actually be near where What's Her Face was, too. It's like near one of those, um, those gates that we did lower. Squirrels and shit, right? Uh, like right here? Yeah, that looks kind of familiar, actually. Alright, which one was it? Yeah, right in the middle of there. Okay. Have some luck with downtown as well. Isn't there another kind of gardeny one though? Here. Uh, what the heck is that? That looks like sewers almost. No, it can't be because there's trees and shit. Okay, I'm not 100% sure where that one is. Downtown one that's probably more recognizable. Uh, stone wall, uh, the movable shit. Yeah. Next to a, next to a pedestal what which had an item on top of it. In a former life. I 
item in a switch, right? Probably not here. Let's see if it's down to the south. Oh, right. Couldn't parry because I didn't have any stamina left. Good job. all that. I don't want to be here. Oh, well, there's a switch. And a bunch of movable stuff. This might be closer. It's the abandoned lab. Uh, this... Uh, will this be close to one? Probably not. Switch on a movable pedestal and an empty item box. Be a little bit further north. I think I want to go check out the cathedral one more time as well. That was where that weird Reaper-ish character was. <laughs> oh, well. item case. Switch, switch. Yeah, hey, this looks kind of like it. Pretty close, but it's, there's no switch on a big old pedestal. Every back door, yeah, okay, so we're back in here, no. Nope. I guess we haven't been through the ruined alley or up here by the cathedral. Might be the only spot left here, honestly. It's 
tunnel. Yeah. No, yeah, we were through that. Go through the alleys once. Seeing the movable marks on the ground, thinking like, hey, maybe that's it. Turned out it wasn't. Downtown terminal. Crater Tower. Egg marks and shit. Empty item box. No nearby switch to indicate this is the place. Hmm. Let's go back to the cathedral entrance. I think there was a room to the north that we missed. this before. It's really then just the cathedral itself, which it won't be raining in there, so that's not right. Is there any other, uh, one second, any items in here? Yeah, there's two, even two chests in here that we don't know about. Well, probably not going to take the time to track those down. That could take a decent amount of time. We'll just head back into the cathedral. I think there's something in there that we want to check out anyways. The scary dude is all like, yeah, I can give you more life, but it'll cost you. Back room. Actually, no, maybe we wanted to take the elevator up. Cathedral ahead, the big scary dude. There was another treasure thing up here too, though, wasn't there? Uh, no. Well, maybe. Looks to be daylightish. 
got the really big standout ones. there. Alright, because we didn't have the hook shots to get across here before. I don't remember being up here. Oh, right. Were we ever able to actually get up there? I guess we weren't. Yeah. I don't remember that at all. Okay. Well, we got one of the things. Did that count as a... Counted one as, the, as one of the downtown items. Okay. Well, that's neat. Just kind of found it by bumbling around. Entrance to the crypts. Oh, I see. We're back down here. Oh, well, where the fuck is the big scary dude? It's like, ah, we'll try to give you, give you life. Blah blah blah. Maybe he's no longer here since we uh, cleared the game, but. Is a little silly. I feel like he was just inside the cathedral. Hmm. Oh, well, oh, well. <laughs> go off to. Hmm. Well, dang. Okay. Well, no matter, I guess. Let's head on back to the village. There is something we can spend our money on. Buy a whole bunch of meteor dust. Not that we terribly need it anymore, or ever. But it might be handy to have some on hand just in case we come across folks that we haven't uh, done the needful for, you know? Oh, right, maybe there was a door up here. Yeah, okay, never mind. There was a door up here. It led us to the scary dude. Alright, start starting to come back to me now. that. It's like, rah, rah, rah. I rule over death or something. Uh, see, it doesn't give me another option to be like, hey, how about, how about you take some meteor dust so we can be friends and you can stop being evil and stuff and shit. Uh, it's like, I don't want to do that. I'm afraid of what's going to happen if I do that. So I won't. <laughs> so I'm not gonna. Alright. So realistically, I really just wanna back down on this side of things so we can get to the terminal. Or wherever it happened to be. Oh yeah, it was way up there. Um, up where the item was that we can't get to anymore, presumably. It's too high? Okay, so we're gonna have to go down and around. It stinks. There's an exit to the south. Where is it? Ah, right there. Turn the 
what's up. Okay, yeah, there's one right inside Crater Tower. Alright, so let's head back to the village right quick. Yeah, the Meteor Dust price will definitely be high, but hell, we're rich. We got 32,000 buckos. Uh, generate, please. 10,000 bucks. Generate, please. 12,000 bucks. Yeah, and we're 4,000 short of another one. Womp. That's alright. Uh, I guess we can give a couple to Teresa then, huh? Cog durability chip increases durability of effect cogs. Well, that's not terribly useful, but hey. Props on her for thinking of us. Okay, but we are kind of in... Now we already did the garden-ish one, didn't we? Or was there another one around here? Yeah, this one. Although I don't think that's... That's more sewery than anything else. sword on the rest of these. Ah, uh, this is looking closer though. Like that, sort of? There's one near a telephone pole or something like that. Did we fuck that up? Eh. It's definitely looking closer to where we need to be, though. do we have left here? Two? Alright, so you're not gonna... Not gonna be able to top Cleo off here. Don't have any remaining, but eh, too late. this point. Safe to say we should probably just drop out and maybe start up New Game Plus and see what's that, what that's all about, huh? We do know there's at least one or two in the aquarium as well. Oops, splish. Job. Hmm. Alright. Well, I think at the very least we can see if there's other oh God, what is it now oh, there? Just... Settings. There it is. I was like, how the hell do I get back to the menu? Alright, back to the menu. 
Let's see what we can do now. Uh, can we, um, dungeon raid? What's that mean? We'll find out what it is. Meet enemies and collect loot and procedurally generate dungeons to reach the end. Hey, that seems cool. Uh, permadeath, yes. Chip's gonna be equipped at any time, equip items automatically. Alright, let's see what we got. Yeah, we can try boss rush too. Pick two items. An axe, a sword. I see. Well, I'm a real big fan of just the sword gun combo. Quick attack, drifter, power, vitality, and steady. Well, probably vitality. I don't know what the power chip does. Increases damage when life is full. Okay. Uh, let's head through the suburbs. Thunder Edge. Hell yeah, Thunder Edge. Even as shit. <laughs> ah, we don't have the spinner to get through there. Unless we can... Haha, <laughs> we can cheese it out. <laughs> Although I'm, I'm really curious if uh, this even matters. Money even matters here. Chip. Go to oh, there's shops and shit. Okay, this money does make a lot of sense. Oh wow, it's expensive shit though. Six hundo. Ah, or we can craft something. Oh, and we can craft shit. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I remembered what the crafting recipes were. I could try to do one just straight up, but meh. either. Oh. Oh, shit. Wow. <laughs> okay, yeah, not have not having any of the strong stuff we're used to really uh really does it. We did turn permadeath on. Let's 
gives us new stuff to work with here. Fast combo, reload, steady, speed. Okay, that's better. Fast combo, sure. Oh yeah, that's speed now. Hey, Strip Vod. Ugh, Strip Vodnar. How you doing? Good to see you. Had a shitty day? Oh, that sucks. That stinks. We've had an okay day. We finished up uh, unsighted here. We did the, the final big bad boss fight. It's kind of neat. Had a wholesome ass ending because we saved everybody. Launched the credits, and now we're into to post game content stuff. Just messing around a little bit. Syringe, syringe chip, or a shuriken. All right, well, disposable syringe, I guess. Just in case. Head on over. Oh, we're not gonna have enough for the shop, so let's just proceed onwards. is now going to cost stamina. Ugh, that timing on this one is always kind of stodgy. It's like a couple half beats. There we go. Uh, ooh, an auto blaster is fun. Or a defense chip. We'll take the defense chip. Since we've already got a gun. Figure after we eat shit here, we'll check out the boss rush. See what that's all about. South here? Nah. I guess we just need to clear every area of enemies. It's not just to get to the end bit. It's fine then. Revive Cog might be good. Frost Axe might be excellent. Take the Revive Cog. Uh, do we have to turn that on ourselves? No, auto activates. Good. Oh, and it's a boss. Hey, all right. Who are we gonna get shredded by? I don't really want the Shuriken though. Do I? I really don't. There we go. Oh, 
Oh, except we are going to want the shuriken because we need to light it up, don't we? Alright. Bonk. Oh. Ow. Well. Ow. Ah. Damage wave. Oh, come on! A tiny ass bit of health. One fucking bullet. Yeah, okay. Naturally. Oh, it's not dead yet. Uh. Hold, please. <laughs> my heal just yet though we're probably good for one more hit before we eat shit mm. Mm. thunderblade's a good choice portable crafting table sucks ass wallet chip is probably eh oh plus we still got that revive cog so we're doubly safe definitely take the thunder edge all right uh let's go to the aquarium Excuse me. Oh, no, faster heal chip. Ooh, or uh, ice flamethrower. Eh. Or another heal. You know what? Let's use the heal we got. Take another heal. <laughs> Alright, we got a lot of money for the shop, though. Let's see what we got. Charge life and syringes. Dope! Eh. Strength chip, a speed cog, upgrade the weapon. Hell yeah. 
definitely give that strength chip and we'll upgrade the weapon. Uh, definitely. Bonk. Alright. Uh, what else can we afford? Anything? No. Speed cog. Nope. Alright. Let's go. any way to get across there now. Oh, it's just uh, monies. Never mind. Oh, double hook shot. Aggressive chip and defense cog. Double hook shot, please. Uh, Alright, let's go ahead and put that on slot three. Vampire, okay, vampire trip might actually be super useful here. So we're knocking out trash mobs left, right, and center. Oh, is this gonna be a boss fight? Or yeah, sure is. Okay. <laughs> well, less useful now then. Ah well. I remember what this boss fight was about. I'm sure we'll be fine. Just a thunder blade and a PSP shooter. Oop. Oh, well. <laughs> Good job. Ow, hey. Remember that being around here. Ow! Oof. There. Uh, let's go ahead and use our heal, I guess. fight either. Oh, fuck. Well, there goes our revive. Fight. 
We made it through. We're nearly at full health, even though it cost us our revive. Okay, what we got here? Stamina chip, hell yeah. Let's go to the factory. Even though that health refill probably would have been a good idea as well. Oh yeah, we can cross here because we got the shots. Cog, Fire Shuriken, I'll take the disposable health refill. Reload, auto, auto switch. Mm, might be a good idea. Automatically fill over time. Don't! No, that's not the one I wanted. Ah. I thought I was gonna auto use one when I'm about to die. Eh, oh well. Well, no matter. Oh, is this a permanent syringe? Ha! 45 hundo. Worth it. Ah, and then it auto-fills. All right, cool. We did a good. <laughs> we did a good by uh, accidentally picking the other thing. Hair syringe, hell yeah. Okay, didn't realize those were low tier drops. Oh, now we're up to a boss. Well, it's a good thing I got all those repairs then. Pretty easy fight, honestly. 
despite our craptacular weapons. Oh, baby, the pistol. Uh, yes, please. combo. Hell yeah, max combo. Oh, damn. <laughs> so it doesn't just let us continue to grab chips. Okay, you know what? That's fine. Uh, well, we can turn these on and off at will, right? So we're good with pretty much what we got. And if we need to enable our auto syringe chip again, we can. Chip, War Axe, Stamina Cog. Take the Stamina Cog. Did they turn that on automatically? Yeah, they did. Okay. I guess we can turn that off whilst we're shopping, huh? Uh, upgrade weapon seems good. Yeah, easy peasy. Um, Stola. we could get the ice flamethrower. Yeah, we really don't need anything else, honestly. Because they're not going to throw us into a situation that we can't traverse. Oh, there you go, bitch. Really don't need it. Nice disposable syringe. Yeah, sure. Disposable syringe. Kind of a fun little mode. It boils it down to the to the core combat mechanics, which I love. Just 
turn off the attack cog, honestly. So we don't really need it for these trash mobs. So we got invincibility, double barrel. Might as well, huh? It's the invincibility all increases iframes now, which we don't really need. <laughs> Honestly, we've got such a good setup going right now. It doesn't make much sense. Change it up. Although I'm curious if they're gonna throw the final boss at us in the last area. I guess we might be good enough to find out here. Cog, another repair syringe, and another teak chip. Oh, another repair syringe. How much we got? 8,000? 7,000? It's pretty good. Great weapon for 18 hundo. Get a stamina chip, get a revive cog. Hell yeah. Uh, let's upgrade our Thunder Edge again. We have been kind of sparse on blade weapons, haven't we? What are we doing for chips here? What can we. Probably ditch the iframe ship, honest. Or no, we couldn't put that one in, right? Uh, we'll ditch. We'll ditch max combo. We'll get another stamina. Um, do we have another tiny one we can slam in there? No, huh? Everything else has been doing pretty well for us. Okay. Stamina cog. Ah. Ow. Greed chip. I guess that really will come into play, won't it? Um, although, eh, do we care enough about it? Do we care enough about money here to really go for it? Nah, just grab another health refill because easy. Because easy shit. Hmm, interesting. Yeah. Easy enough. <laughs> Aggressive chip. Defense cog, the auto blaster. Nah. Take the aggressive chip. Increases damage by 20%, but increases damage taken by one point. Well, that offsets the defense chip we have. Uh, 
Ah, so is is this really going to shove me into the final boss fight again? That'd be okay. Although we are severely under-equipped for it now. <laughs> I guess we'll see how well we can do with six health refills uh, in these tiny-ass weapons we got. Ha ha ha. Ha. Use the aggressive chip, but don't get hit. Good advice. Oh, right. Actually, we're gonna heal right there because I have a feeling that would have murdered us. Spinner thing to get out of trouble quick. Ow! Ah! Oh! Oh! Excuse me. Ow! Fucking! so bad. I think they might have scaled the health down a bit, <laughs> given our present equips. So what does that mean exactly? Mode complete? Congratulations. Try again and do better next time? That is a cool fucking explosion. <laughs> uh, neat Chivo for doing it we're like yeah we're happy because we did a good job <laughs> I 
All right, cool. Well, we've got enough time to check out Boss Rush at least once then. It's a fun little diversion now. Can I just type this in normally? No, I'm gonna make me navigate. It's not bad. <laughs> Zero deaths. Well, of course, because it's permadeath. <laughs> uh, uh, interesting. They even give you some some dev times to work off of, huh? I don't know that we're going to be able to trim 10 minutes off of that. <laughs> At least not easily. So, all right. Oh, this was a fun little thing. Okay, boss rush then. What are they gonna give us for equips, I wonder, to, to deal with this stuff? Are they gonna let us pick? Perhaps? Um, here, boss rush. Uh, and they have save files for boss rush? Excuse me? Oh, okay. All right, let's see what we got. Ooh. Ooh, see now, do I go with the sword-gun combo and hope we pick up a syringe later, I guess? Seems like the thing to do. Ah, then we get different chips for this. Uh, I did really like the speed chip. Parrymaster, that's the one that doubles up your... or increases your attack wildly after a parry, though. Okay, let's go speed Parrymaster, then. Actually, I don't like this boss. <laughs> this might be a, a troublesome fight without any means of health recovery. First boss to have. Um, okay, let's try that again. <laughs> Less dumb deathing this time. Uh, we're gonna get a different chip set though too, so it's gonna be less, less cool. Uh, um, well, the two combo ones, I guess. It's the best we got to start. tips thanks the fucking basic bitch ass tips in there for us oh i see oh this is like a megaman-esque thing where you can choose them in whatever order you want okay i didn't i didn't realize that i figured it just gave you a choice of two at the start and then you know good luck afterwards see now this would have been a good starter one with the the parry stuff from before ouch Perry stuff from before, right? Oh, 
Um, okay, I'm pretty sure I hit the parry button, but all right. Never mind. <laughs> hmm. Well, okay, that's perhaps not the best starter either. Uh, well, okay, have we learned a lesson? Have we learned a lesson? Defense chip is a strong play. Power is 20% at, yeah, at full? Okay, so we'll have to make good on this. Oh, I don't remember this one. Good on that 20% uh, power boost while we have the health to do it. Oh, what? That caught the corner of my foot. Boo. That counted, huh? Oh, all right. Um, excuse me. <laughs> Oof, all right. Uh, yeah, these bosses are a slight threat. Um, when you are very ill-equipped, huh? Alright, big sword and stamina then. Give us a fighting chance here. Okay, let's retry that one though. I feel like we, we were getting a, a good rhythm going. And we just fucked it up one too many times. Ow. Oh. And then he charged up. Oh, you little shit. That didn't seem fair. <laughs> that did not seem like a fair uh, action he took there. But whatever. We'll fucking whatever. We'll, we'll get it. We'll get it. It's fine. Okay. Defense chip is definitely a good choice for this Garbo. I don't remember what the virus chip is. Increased damage by 25%, but cuts the user total life in half. Oh, good! Great! We're pretty much Oko okay at this point, then. Um, well... Whatever. <laughs> Make it work, I guess. I suppose we can turn it off if we need to. Oh, come on! Oh. <laughs> also, I forgot that I took a heal there, too, so I could have could have healed and survived another 5-10 seconds. Alright, what do we got? Health? Did we just go basic bitch-ass health and stamina? What's this other one down here? Spin attack? Yep, I guess that's what we're doing. Kind of sucks that they don't fill up that last bit that we just gained there. Like, come on. I suppose we could do a different boss, too. It's this one over here. Is this one of the weaker mini-boss things? I think so. Oh yeah, it's the weird little tiny spider thing. Okay. Oh no, it's the it's the crab. 
Oh, Lord, the crab. Do not like the crab, honestly. Ouch! For precisely that reason. At least it's not the King Guardian Crab or whatever it was we were fighting last time. I fucking mash that B button. You can eat my ass with that, all right? <laughs> all right, a crowd watch sucks. Okay, well, since I'm not actually using the heal syringe like a good boy, why don't we just take another weapon instead? Uh, um, all right, you know what? Let's go with uh, just a double barrel. Double firepower, hell yeah, okay. Good. Um, alright, I don't like the ice. I think we were getting pretty okay with this one. Oh, shit, that's literally double barrel. Ah, but it, does, it shoots two bullets at once, too. Okay. I was thinking that was, uh... Like, double attack power. Oh, excuse me? Do a second swipe there? Alright. Don't let me get away, you shit ass. Ugh. Can we get at least one boss kill? Like, I'd be happy with one boss kill at this point, because, uh, not giving me a whole lot to work with here. Uh, runner, quick, quick attack. Double barrel was interesting. Oh, defense, yes, please. Okay, this fucker is going down. Like now I've got a vendetta. Like, what did I catch? The fucking tail of my hair there? Eat my ass. Fucking dumb hitbox. Thank you. 
No, oh, easy. Okay. Get the dumb trash mobs out of my way so I can focus on the big bad. What kind of fucking quick ass attack was that? There. Okay. Yes! Did we get it? Okay, <laughs> last bullet. Woof! Alright, one boss kill. <laughs> Oh, boy. We get two things for our trouble, huh? Well, strength chip seems good. And a fucking disposable syringe that we'll probably use immediately. <laughs> uh, okay, we could upgrade a weapon. That seems good. Oh, 3,000 for that. Damn. Speed chip would also be good. Um, damn. All right. Can we afford both of those? 25.50? Yeah, okay. Let's do that, and we'll upgrade our iron sword, because we got nothing better, because we couldn't afford the better sword. Ah, 15 hundo. Okay, and then that one's blocked off for good. Uh, what was this boss? <laughs> I do not remember what this boss was. Oh. Oh, 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 well, this one's not bad. This one's actually kind of easy. Um, hold on a second. Oh, if I actually hit the thing, right? This one was actually kind of easy, as I recall. Defeat the hands too? No. Okay, good. <laughs> it's like, come on. Or do we? And it's just okay, good. Easy. Easy, easy. Uh alright, let's get the health refill. Oh, we can pick two of them. Uh uh reload chip, I guess. We've only got 19 hundo, so that's not gonna be enough for nothing. Yeah. Except another disposable syringe, I guess. Alright, there's two. So just keep going down the line here. These have been pretty simple. Which 
weapon was this? Oh, was this the crab? Oh no, it was this one. Okay. All right, so now every reload is practically a, an active reload. But you know what? I can appreciate it. Ow, hey, you little bitch. amount of money for it though so that's not terribly useful uh let's take invincibility and an attack kong the other one is kind of shitty what are we going to be able to even afford weapon upgrade hey okay quick attack da -da 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 -da. all right so we're not getting any better base weapons really is that now considered a plus two? Gross. <laughs> Fucking gross. Alright, uh... Now that we have some upgrades under our belts... Uh, what was this one down here? This was the, the flame dude, right? Yeah, I think we can probably take, take him now. Or no, it was the crab. Shit, I forgot it was the crab. Oh no, it is the flame dude. Okay, never mind. Ow! Alright, heal. <laughs> um, okay. Went in for the kill. <laughs> Went in for the kill when he wasn't ready to be killed. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Still made it out of there. Good enough. Made it out of there with a, a fair amount of money as well. So, obviously heal. Oh, vampire ship might be good. Grenade launcher me. Ah, I don't have enough to slam that in there, huh? We need to get one. Um, I do like the reload speed, and I, extra iframes really isn't doing it for me anyway, so let's just do that, grab that. Head to the shop with 59 hundo. Can we get a better sword, please? Ugh, no. <laughs> oh, we only have enough for one of these. I should probably take the permanent syringe, but I'm not gonna. Shuriken, no. Stamina cog. What kind of cogs do we have? Nothing. <laughs> we got a big old fat lot of nothing. Alright, whatever. Okay, um. We did the whole right hand four, yeah? 
you know, all those are taken care of. Um, what was this one? That was the crab, right? What was that one? I don't remember what that one is. What the fuck was this one? I don't remember what this one is either. Ah, this one. Okay, yeah, yeah, this one's easy. Easy peasy. Oh, easy, buddy. Just like that. <laughs> All right. Well, that's that's the easy foothold one that I should have done at the very start. But hey, whatever. We'll take it. Ooh. Okay. There's our better sword. Yoink! Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -ba. And ooh, a good old revive cog, sure. It's pretty much equivalent to a revive or a, a, a syringe, right? Okay, we can just buy another one, anyways. Oh dang! Now it's actually slightly less damaging than our normal sword. So we upgraded the other one, but I do like that it's ice aspect now. So. Eh, eh. Yeah, let's just grab one of those. Okay, so now what? Um, I think this was the crab here then. But what was this one then? Oh! Um, I don't have a hook shot for this. Excuse me? Can you, uh... Do they give me a hook shot then? No, they sure fucking don't. All right, can I just jump between them? Oh, I can. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, I guess we'll just have to make do with the jumpy jumps. Okay, I guess they are close enough to jump around, huh? Oh, I don't want the, why do I have the syringe out? Gross, or the shirt out. There we go. Oh, oh, you little bitch. Nope, not happening. <laughs> oh, right. Oh, oh, boy. I didn't realize I could just hop through there with low stamina. Oh, fuck. Oh, ooh, really gonna do that, huh? Okay. Oh, easy. Okay, not too bad, considering. Good thing you don't need the hookshot for that battle. <laughs> Phew. Now, honestly, we're gonna be down to the crab fight and the ice fight, huh? That might not be too bad. Uh, yeah, power trip. Life is full, sure. Place our syringe. And we got 69 hundo, nice. <laughs> oh, shit, okay, they don't have an upgrade thing here, but we will take a permanent syringe, I suppose, huh? We can get another temporary one, okay. Hmm. All right, well, considering then, do this one first. We'll leave the crab fight for last, because that one's so bitch. Oop, easy. Oop. Oh, 
crap. Just thought about that one a little bit more. Ow! Thing about whoopsie. There we go. Ow. <laughs> uh, okay, um, please run. Thank you. I forgot about the quick stamina recharge of the double tap block. Oh, I'm such an idiot. Ah, yeah, she's dead anyways, probably. There we go. Forgot about that quick recharge thing you could do. Rip, rip, rip. Or I thought it was. Or was it double tap? Oh, it's double tap X. Dang. I really wish I would have known about that. <laughs> or wish I would have remembered that, rather. Uh, faster heal chip? Do I have, uh... I don't have an open slot. Not like really it matters, though. I guess I'll take a speed cog, sure. And, uh... And flamethrower, I guess. That's terribly useful at this juncture. 48 hundo for something? Please get him a weapon upgrade? No! Nah. Ah, I could get another permanent syringe, though. Or a stamina chip. Uh, can we get rid of one of these? No, all those are pretty... Like, they're pretty good. I should probably keep the vampire chip because the crab battle is going to have lots of tiny mobs. Why don't we just get another permanent? And then, uh, a little bit short to refill. That's fine. I guess we're just down to the down to the crab battle. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, can't wait. We still have that revive cog going, by the way? We do. Awesome. Alright. Oh, we are doubly fast now. Rad as hell. Ugh. Oop. Ow! Ugh. That fucking contact damage is ridiculous.
Damn, is that a... That wasn't quite a no-hit fight, but that was pretty damn close. Forget how much the, uh... How much the fucking combo damage boost does for you. That's ridiculous. Alright, uh... Yeah, I guess I'll just go with uh, that, and sure. <laughs> how much we got? 16 hundo? That's not gonna be enough for nothing. Oh, maybe one upgrade? Oh, 2400! Fucking boo! Well, let's just take the refill and be on our way, huh? Alright. Six refills, a revive, and, you know, not unreasonable weaponry, I suppose, huh? Wild. Okay, well, I don't want it to waste my timed cogs on this, so we'll turn those off on the approach, right? Yeah. Okay, turn it back on. Alright, here we go. Let's roll. I'm gonna use the syringe because I think we do get that damage boost from full health, right? Oh, no. It's gonna matter now. <laughs> chip on there too. It's not like we couldn't heal a, a one damage. Ow! Oh. oh! Oh! Excuse me. Oh! Ow! Alright. Oh what? How did that hit me? Fuck you. Actually, this reload one is really putting in some work, too. Not having to time out the active reloads is really helping. Buddy. 
Yeah. Oh, alright. Honk. <laughs> easy. Fucking easy. Alright, good. See? Just needed a foothold. And then we got it. And we got it. Yeah, we've seen the cutscene. <laughs> we've seen the cutscene. No problem. Hooray! We did it! We fucking did it. Did the whole dungeon crawl thing, did the main game, did the boss rush. 20 minutes, not bad. Eight minutes? Get out of here. I guess if you spend a lot less time uh, fucking around in shops, yeah, you could probably reduce that quite a bit. But hey, I'm, I'm happy with just a clear. <laughs> I don't need to be no speedrunner. That's fine. That's fucking fine. All right, I think we've exhausted our options here. I mean, aside from a new game plus, which I can't imagine it's a whole heck of a lot different than normal ass new game, but. You know, let's see. Let's see here. Start new game plus new game extra. Ooh. It's new game extra. Uh, start with blueprints for all major items. Okay. Start with items and stats from previous file. <laughs> okay. Well, that's just gonna. You could wreck shit with that, huh? Wow. Okay. I mean, really, then it's about just going everywhere and getting the meteor shards and then just fucking off. All right, well, given that we know about that, uh, we can call it there tonight. Fun game, good game, great game. Good good recommendation from Firetron. Much appreciated, of course. But that'll do it for tonight. Next stream will be tomorrow night, 7.30 p.m. CST. It'll be Shmup Book Club. So, uh, Koryun, Child of Dragon, or uh, Soikyo Gorentai, or uh, G. Darius. Probably G. Darius, since we haven't played that one uh, yet. So we'll be able to put up a score for that at the very least. And then this week has, uh, or this weekend has kind of changed up a little bit. <clears throat> Saturday, uh, early PM, CST, we'll probably be doing a dev stream. We haven't done one of those in a, in a ding dang darn long old time. So we'll do that on Saturday. And then Sunday night, 7 PM, CST, will be long play. So more dead cells. Now that we finally have the content expansions and DLC, we can explore that fully this Sunday, 7 PM, CST. And then, of course, next week, Monday, 7 p.m. CST, we'll be starting up with a new game, since we are now done with Unsighted. That should be pretty fun. Yet to determine what it is, but we'll know more shortly, I'm sure. That'll do it for tonight. Thanks for watching, everybody. I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.